so ahead of the final weekend next week. Remember, Limerick won't be in action next weekend. So Clare cannot be caught in second place. That's why they are through. But we've got Watford and Cork both in two points. But of course, Cork plays Tipperary next week. They can reach two points as yeah. well. If three teams end on two points, it goes to points difference, score difference. If two teams end on the same points, it goes to head to head. There's some Kieran Kingston wake up tomorrow morning in a nicer position than he did this morning when he, he beats Tip. He has the head-to-head -head against Waterford, even if Waterford come here and win next week. So it could, should be Cork going through, really, if they do their own business. But small margins, like you contrast those two managers, Liam Kell on a high third year, all the talk about Waterford, about having the best squad in Ireland, go on, win the National League. No, no, they're, no, the thing is swimming in Cork's favour, because like Anthony said, Cork win next week, on Cork go. But they're under Waterford. huge pressure now, Waterford coming here. You know what I mean? Like what, what team Clare put out, that's, that's the luxury Brian has. No, but that's the beauty of the round robin, isn't it? It is, unless you're the, the team who suffers because somebody else perhaps doesn't yeah, uh, try quite as hard in the, the final game. Well, still yeah. in your own hands, though, yeah, right? like, I mean, the yeah, last two yeah. matches. Yeah. So, in other words, tough luck because if you get into that well, position, like, you're on the right. I think you can't complain, really, can no, you? Like, but it's test today at home. That's it. And it's testament to the round robin as well. Look at, look at this out here, right? You have the game down in Walsh Park. Like, people talk about, you know, going back to the old days where it was one knockout, blood and thunder. I, I played a lot of Munster Championship games, but I'm not so sure I can remember many being that different to the blood and thunder I just saw out there. It is funny, though, when you think about it, most of us felt that after today, today was a really big day, and that next week was going to be largely uneventful, maybe a playoff or a place in the Munster final. It's amazing how two games change everything. No, it is, yeah, but that, that's the beauty of hurling. But, you know, when you're looking at Clare, you have to give huge credit to Brian Lowe and, and, and the way he's transformed this team. and. The, the progression they've had over the three years has been incredible and uh, like to think this is going to be another another huge game in the Munster final like it, it's brilliant to see.